Hey everyone, it's Fernando from Savoy Dessert Bar again with this week's uh, degustation desserts. Um, it's been a couple of weeks that we've had off, but um, we're doing this week as a French theme. So with your desserts, you will get a traditional souffle, chocolate souffle, and the creme brulee itself. You'll get a couple of um, our house-made biscotti, a French vanilla macaron with some uh, sugared uh, lemon, chocolate garnish and some sugar to burn and this is just some baking paper which we're going to use for our souffle so we'll get onto it so just grab your souffle unwrap it we're going to make this as simple as we can for you um, grab your baking paper basically wrap it around your souffle like so Oops. with a bit of tape you can either use masking tape or sticky tape. Just something basically to hold the, um, the baking paper around it. I might actually... Oops. Sorry, just take my gloves off. Start again. Just the masking tape. And put that around your baking paper. Now, preheat your oven to 180 degrees and roughly about 15 minutes uh, it should cook it all depends on how you'd like it so basically that's it you'll grab that which has your souffle in it you'll take that to the oven uh, at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes it'll cook all the way through if you want a soft center uh, try 10 11 minutes and then it'll pop and still have a nice um, moist center but from the magic of video Here we go, 15 minutes later, we've got a beautiful souffle that's popped and we're just serving that just for a little bit of crunch, just a marble chocolate pencil and one of the cinnamon biscotti and there's your souffle. Might give it a try and see what it's like. So, just right into the centre and like I said, if you want it cooked all the way through, uh, about 15 minutes, if you want a soft centre, a little bit less, 11, 12 minutes, um, but that's pretty much not soft, not fully baked, about halfway. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So that's your traditional chocolate souffle. That's done. It's going to have a beautiful. If the biscotti does go soft in your pack, but generally we don't keep them in the fridge, um, probably the last couple of minutes you have your souffle in. Grab both the biscotti, because one goes with the creme brulee. Put that in the oven and that'll crisp back up again so you've got a nice bit of crunch to it. All right, put that aside. And onto the creme brulee. So again, unwrap the creme brulee. And put that down. Grab the creme brulee, put it there. Got a little container with sugar. You can use a spoon if you want, but basically about half the sugar. And just put that on there. Spread that around a bit. So it should be fully spread, just like that. Now we've got a torch here, obviously, and some of you I believe do have torches at home. Just give it a slight burn until the sugar melts. No such thing as burning, we call it caramelizing. So don't stress if it goes a little bit dark, it's just going to taste that little bit better because it's been caramelized that little bit longer. Okay. There we go. So that's all melted. And to get that nice tap tap, basically spread the rest of the sugar, or at least a th another thin layer of it on top. You don't have to let the bottom layer go completely hard. Again, give it a torch. 
if you don't have a torch at home, there are a couple of other ways that you can do it. Um, there you go. So we'll let that sit for a little bit. Um, you can use a grill. So if you put your creme brulee on the top of the grill, put a thin layer of sugar on there, turn the grill on. You do have to watch it quite, um, quite closely because it can burn very quickly. Um, but you can also do it that way. Or if you do have a naked flame on a gas, you can grab a spoon, heat up the spoon on the gas top, and then just run it over the top of the sugar. You might have to do that three or four times to get the sugar to melt, but it can work that way as well. Um, with that, we've got our French vanilla macaron. And we've also candied up some Tahitian organic liners for you. So you can just place them on top there. And again, your cinnamon and almond biscotti. Um, they're all gluten free except for the biscotti. Um, everything else is gluten free. Um, I might just get my chef here to hand me a spoon. Or I'll just grab, actually, one second. Back. All right. Let's just. So, can you, if you can hear that. So, by doing it twice, you get a nice thick layer on top. So, I'll just break through. And you've got nice, creamy, citrus. Mm. That's good. Creme brulee. Um, so that's our citrus creme brulee. I hope you guys enjoyed both of you did it this week. Um, we've enjoyed making them for you. And like I said, if you've got a torch, use a torch. If you don't, you can either put it under the grill for a couple of minutes or with the back of a spoon, just heat that up on a gas top or even with a lighter if you're desperate and just run it over the top of the sugar and that'll melt the sugar properly. Okay, enjoy your desserts, enjoy, enjoy your five courses, and we'll catch you next time, guys. See ya.